Hi, this is Brienne, and I work with the gardening program at Chicago Park District. Today I'm going to look for beneficial insects and pests in our community garden in the park. Here's a bumblebee visiting borage in the herb garden. Bumblebees are native to Illinois. They overwinter in the soil and emerge in the late spring. This bumblebee is drinking nectar and collecting pollen on her back legs. While doing this, she's inadvertently pollinating the flower. This is a moth that flies during the day. She lays eggs that develop into larvae known to gardeners as the squash vine borer pest. See how she's tapping her back legs as she positions herself to lay an egg? Here's the egg, see how tiny it is? Here's a close-up of the egg. Isn't it beautiful? But you will need to remove this if you want to save your summer squash. Here are two squash bugs. One of them will lay eggs that will develop into nymphs that will eat the leaves of our squash plant. You can see them here since the sunlight is shining behind the leaf. Here they are under the leaf. See how she arranged them in a beautiful pattern? but you will need to remove them to save your plant. Oh, here's a lady beetle. She's considered a beneficial insect since she eats aphids, which are considered pests in the vegetable garden. Where do you think she's going? What do you think she's looking for? Here are some lady beetle eggs. They're bright yellow and she laid them on the underside of the kale leaf. Here's a black swallowtail butterfly, another beneficial insect in the garden. She's laid some eggs on this fennel plant and you can see them inside the yellow circle. And this shows you just how tiny they are. Black swallowtail butterflies are considered beneficial because they pollinate flowers in the garden. The butterfly eggs will hatch into tiny caterpillars and they'll need to eat a lot in the next several days. Oh, here's an isopod, also called a roly poly or pill bug. If you don't see many beneficial insects in your garden, remember they need places to lay eggs, food for their young, food for the adults, those can sometimes be different, uh, and places in the soil and plant debris to spend the winter. Thanks for watching this video. For more information about community gardens in the parks and gardening programs for youth and adults, check out our website, chicagoparkdistrict.com.